Let's make farmhouse ghost tags. Keep watching. All right, I'm going to start off with some black tags. You can get them almost any place that you get crafts. Mine happen to have come from the from dirt cheap, but they were actually originally from Target. You can see the dollar spot tag on the back. So I've got four of those. And I've got this bottle wrapper, Halloween bottle wrapper that originally came from Target. And I'm going to use the ghost from this to put onto my tags. And my tags are perforated on the top. You don't have to have them that way. You can get whatever type of a tag you want as long as it'll accommodate the size of the figurine you want to use. You could use witches or pumpkins or whatever you want to use. But today we are using these cute little ghosts. So we're going to cut them out and then trim each one up and find out where they're going to live on our tags. There we go. Now, to reinforce these tags because they're thin, they're not a thick cardstock. Go right around the edges and below the line of where it's perforated on the top so it doesn't show through. And I'm gonna do that for each one. This is gonna make them a little more sturdy. I don't want them to be flimsy. Okay, so I'm using my Dollar Tree glue stick. It's a Jot glue stick. And I'm going to put the reinforcement on the back for each one of these cards. All right, once that's all done, I'm going to take my, my ghost and glue them on the front. You can use double stick tape or Mod Podge, whatever you want to use, but glue sticks seem to be less messy and they dry quick. I'm just using the end of my wooden ruler just to press it down. Probably not a necessary step, but I just felt like it's a step I needed to take. Okay, now I have to decide which, since they're going to be in pairs, which two would make a good pair. I'm going to use some hot glue. And I'm going to place that down right on top of the other one, just overlapping a little but we can still see their faces. And then I'm going to take their strings on the top and tie them together. Although functionally this is not really doing anything, I just think it, it looks better since they're together. It appears as though they are tied together instead of being glued together. I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. All right, now we're going to put a decorative bow on the top and we're going to fix these little guys up. I'm going to take some of this pom-pom string or whatever you want to call it, wrap. I'm going to cut them in sections. I'm going to put, tuck up the line there, the straight part, on the back so that you can't see it and then it will just be the little pom-poms hanging down on the front. I'm going to do that for each one of these. Okay, and then just trim up anything that you see sticking out from the back. 
Now here's the raffia, 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 whatever you call it. And I'm going to cut four pieces of the black. And then I'm going to be cutting four pieces of the orange. And each bow is going to have two orange and two black. So to keep this kind of simple and farmhouse, I'm just going to tie a simple bow, just a simple bow in the top. I call it a simple bow because it's easy to make, but I don't know if it actually has a name. It's just like a how you tie your shoelaces, that type of a bow. Really easy. And I fluffed out a little bit. No bow goes unfluffed in my house. Not a single one. Even these little ones. You can trim up the tails if you want to. Fluffy fluff. And I'm just placing the bow in the top center of both of them. All right, and I've decided to finish them off. I want to use some type of a little sticker or what have you to embellish the little ghosts. And so these particular ones are um, little Halloween sayings, little trendy sayings. And I'm just going to take a couple of different ones that say, I think spooky and Halloween. At the end, you'll see a better, a close up so you can see what it says for sure. But yeah, just some little Halloween sayings. And I'm gonna put one at the bottom of each of these ghosts. And there they are in all their glory. You can hang these off of the strings that are already on them, or you can use, if you wanna extend it, you can use a half of a pipe cleaner on each one. Just make a loop, double the ends, and tuck it under so it makes sort of a ring on the top. And then you can hang these wherever you want to. They're also stable enough since the back has been reinforced to just stand them or lean them up against something if you wanted to do that. And that's it. Simple as can be. These are adorable. Do you like these? You know, these would be something easy to do with your children, with the grandkids. Just really easy. Let them pick what they want to put on there. They could use stickers even. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and comment below. Tell me what you like about Halloween. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.